hi guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm going to be showing you how tips and tricks on how to make your vocal sound well in your mix how to make your vocal sound well in your mix now it is true that a lot of guys um uh, whenever they are recording their songs they make a lot of mistakes that doesn't make their songs sound better so one of the tricks to make your song sound great is good recording so when we say good recording what does it actually mean so good recording also comprises of following your beats very well following the beats landing where according to the quantization of the beats so where the kick lands if you have a lyrics there your voice also has to land there hmm? so um recording very well proper pronunciation and also with good input first of all good recording starts from good input so what is good input so good input comprises of your recording process i'm going to demonstrate it in this my software so that you understand for example i'm going to click record right now hello hi hello so you can see this vocal so this vocal you can see is not too loud hmm? and my pronunciations is a bit is audible so you as an artist when singing and your voice voice is not audible enough you're not going to get a very good quality i'm going to mute this particular one so you see it hello hi hello so even the hello hi you see how clean it is so the particular sound engineer or the studio owner or if you are recording yourself so ensure that you have enough input volume on your microphone knob from your sound card or any means that you are recording into your software so if it's too poor you're going to have a poor mix for example i'm going to demonstrate that by reducing or maybe if i'm not talking very well it could be that the volume of the microphone is very poor if the volume of the micro microphone is very poor your voice is definitely also going to be very poor or if the artist that is singing or if you are singing if you are if the artist that is singing is not talking loud he's talking inside you're going to have poor vocals and it's not going to sound well in your mix i'm going to demonstrate that let's assume that i'm an artist for for some time and i'm going to be talking very poor okay so the microphone will not receive the remote will receive a very good signal so by so doing the signal sound will be very poor i'm going to cl click record hello hi de, de, de. so most artists actually record like that you can see hello hi so most as most artists record their song like that whereby they will be talking inside they don't talk out and the quality of your vocal matters a lot when the artist is singing very well hmm? being audible in his performance you're going to have great quality another good input another good input to have a great um another good input to have a, a great mix is the headroom you have between your uh, your recording so the headroom that you have between your recording for example i'm going to record a track right now yeah so this example that i just demonstrated you can see i'm going to play it back yeah so you you notice there is a space here and there is a space here so you don't allow your vocal to be too poor you see when you go to some studio sometimes you see some engineer will just come here and try to drag this down to make it small if it's too small the noise ratio of your sound is going to be very 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 high so it's recommended that your sound could pop up could be between this here and here and not allow your sound to be hitting the end of this place so if i preview yeah so this can uh, can help to sustain um, an average energy in your what in your sound which can make your sound sit great and sound great so even if you want to boost your sound in your recording software ensure don't boost your sound like this like you're almost allowing almost all the sound like you're almost allowing all the sound to be passing eh, the limit line so ensure that your your sound or your record stays in the what in the middle so the trick there is don't allow it to be too poor like this don't allow it to be too what to be too to be too loud like this so leave it in the middle so when you have a good a good middle sound like this then the energy is going to be average and the sound quality is going to come out what is going to come out yeah. 
so remember if your sound is too poor hmm, in recording you're going to introduce a noise in mod uh, enough noise background noise when you are boosting it okay for example if you notice i'm going to use this as an example look at this place properly if i'm boosting let's say this is a noise dbd this particular place the more i'm increasing it you can see some frequency even here are beginning to come out you can see it begins to come out again so you can see your wanted noise are beginning to come out so when you record very low and you want to boost you're going to be incurring noise in your words in your mix hmm? you can even hear it there is a white noise background that you can hear yeah so and you don't want to have this kind of noise in your mix if you have this kind of noise acc accompanying your vocal you're going to have a dirty mix and your music is not going to be fine then another good quality um recording input is you as an engineer ensure that you are able to guide the artist to make sure whenever the artist is singing some artists have a habit where they sing they associate with noise maybe they are singing um, maybe they are singing a song like this uh uh they will put it like sound like <coughs> Some of them can even be coughing self or over a pronunciation or maybe explosion of what like twah, twah, twah. those are kind of noise and they are definitely going to distract the kind of recording. So some artists are not experienced and are not experienced. So if you're a sound engineer, you're a great engineer, you ensure that you go straight to the lyrics, the important lyrics, and try to eliminate noise hmm, from your what from your mix. So for example, you are rec you want to record. You, the artist has to be familiar. You have to be very, very familiar with the lyrics. The most important word you want to say is to ensure that you say them in your recording. Those other words like, oh, oh, that doesn't matter. Although, there are some places you can do that in your music where it is necessary. But there are some artists, they usually associate so many distractions and noise in their recording. So when you do that, you're not going to have what a good, a good sounding uh, vocal in your, what, in your music. So, another good recording tips is proper pronunciation. So, when your pronunciations are good, it helps to enhance what the listeners are saying, which is are your fans, your fans. So, your uh, one of the great um, advantage of good music is to ensure that they are they can your listeners can hear what you are what pronouncing. So, if you, they cannot hear what you are pronouncing, you're going to lose some fans. So, to have a great recording, ensure that you properly pronounce. And don't create a lot of phonics in your sound. For example, uh, an artist may want to mimic the voice of maybe Ashake, or maybe they want to uh, mimic the voice of their mentor that they are listening to, that they are getting inspiration from. And that could be very bad. Sometimes it could lead them to not understand the phonics and the proper pronunciation of English word, and they will be pronouncing the wrong things or in the wrong idea of, of words. So proper pronunciation helps your sound to do what? To sound great in your mix so um another way is is a frequency boost so i think i just briefly demonstrated the frequency boost so frequency boost simply means increasing increasing the depth of your words of your frequency for example okay. hello hi Hello. So imagine that when I record this particular sound, it is like this. Hello. Hi. Hello. As you can see, the sound is poor. Then I want to boost the frequency. I'll just come like this. Hello. Hi. So some persons, because they don't have an idea on how to make the song sound great, maybe the beat is louder. They could just come here and start increasing this frequency. So once your frequency begins to touch this limit, it is a frequency excessive boost. So this frequency excessive boost, boost add noise to your frequency. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm certain you begin to hear that noisy background. So you don't want to excessively boost your frequency. It will add noise and problem to your mix. Your mix will not be sounding very clean and clear, guys. So guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out any subsequent video that we're going to post, right? So if you also want to join our Telegram group, uh, Music Production, where we post regular tips and tricks on how to be better in your music production. So check in the link below and join that class now. Hello. Hi. Hello. So guys, don't overboost 
frequency okay don't over boost your frequency it's going to initiate noise and unwanted frequency to your to your vocal so another thing is frequency cut yes it is true that a lot of sound engineers especially upcoming artists sometimes cutting out frequency hello hi hello so frequency cut simply means removing a base or maybe unwanted frequency from your mix i'm going to demonstrate that right now here so let's say this is our hello hi hello yeah so i'm going to bring in our mixer hello hi hello yeah uh, hello hi hello so we're going to be cutting away unwanted frequency like the bass frequency all you simply do is to come here let's go high pass drag this one down hello hi so you can see the voice is lost. So sometimes in our mixing, we we'll try to remove maybe a bass frequency. I want to remove excessive bass frequency from this vocal. Hello, what do you do? Hello, hi, hello. So removing the excessive bass frequency from a vocal, maybe a wanted frequency, helps your vocal to sound very clean. But if you overdo it, it's going to kill the main quality of the vocal. So like hello, this, I'm just the hi, hello. Hello. So definitely, we don't want our vocal to sound this way. So what do we do is to ensure that we pull it backward. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. So when you roll off between 20 to 175 or 200 is that can make your vocal sound, sound great. Hello. So ensure not to over filter frequency from your vocals, right? So to keep the quality of your vocal alive. Okay. So another good tips is compressing. So if you know about compression is actually able to contain mm, the dynamics of your vocal. For example, I have dynamics and you can check the highest peak of this particular vocal. The highest peak of this vocal is higher than this. So whenever you want to compress your vocal, don't over compress your vocal. So I'm going to show you an instance. For example, I want to add compression to this vocal. I'm going to come here. Okay, let me use um this particular compressor. So I'm going to have two ratio. Bring it down. Hello. Hi. Hello. So as you can see, I'm having between 11 dB compression. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. So I'm going to bring out the threshold. Hello. Hi. Hello. So you can see it's actually using force if you notice. So I'm going to do before and after. Listen. Hello. Before. Hi. Hello. Hello. You can see how natural it is and how clean. So I'm going to add my excessive compression hi hello so you can see it's beginning to lose the actual quality of the words of the vocal so what you're going so what you're going to do next is to not to um over compress your what your uh, vocal hello hi hello hello hi hello hello hi hello so um as you can see the compression is mine hello hi i'm going to remove the compression hello hello I'm going to add hi hello hello hi so i'm able to control the dynamic as you can see the dynamic dynamic is fair but at the same time it sounds hello hello hi still hello very close natural hello hi hello he so sounds more output and cleaner so ensure that you don't over compress your signal so that your sound is going to sound contained and sound great in your what in your mix so another group tips for your vocal to sound great in your mix is having a non hello bedroom. hi hello so as you can Hello. see here, if we're going to check this, hi, you can see we still have enough headroom. You have the highest limit here. He Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. 
हेलो हाय हेलो हेलो हाय हेलो सो इफ यू चेक द मीटर हियर सिग्नल हियर हेलो हाय यू कैन सी इज ऑलमोस्ट है टू द टॉप ऑफ द ब्रेन एंड हेलो चेक हियर हेलो इज ऑलमोस्ट टू द टू ऑलमोस्ट टू लिमिट सो एंश्योर दैट यू यूज योर फेदर करेक्टली टू बी गो टू ब्रिंग डाउन योर व्हाट हेलो हाय सो हैव इनफ हेड रूम फॉर योर मिक्स सो हेड रूम एनेबल यू टू क्रिएट मोस्ट मिसिंग स्पेस सो दैट यू डोंट हैव अ uh too much uh, limitation um you don't have uh, too much unwanted noise uh, introduced into your mix so make sure you use your fader hmm, to balance your mix and don't Hello. over increase it like so many persons are always tempted so many producers especially young producers are always tempted to want to pull up the volume very high hi hello so during your mixing and creation process you are not expect to mix in high volume you're supposed to what put it low hmm Hello so if you are not hearing this very well you can increase the volume of your sound system not increasing the volume signal inside your software no increase the volume of your sound card or your sound system or the device you are using so that you can hear it properly during your mix so don't go and over boost the volume okay on your system hello hi hello hello so ensure that hi. you use your fader hmm, to control your mix so that you can have a clean mix so that your voice can be able to fit in very well the another tips is adding too much effect so a lot of guys uh maybe when you record a song for example you record a hello. song hello hi they will just begin to add effects just begin to add effect and it may be add to tune add this add this add that add that so i have so many effects here and definitely i'm not just going to add any one just going to add any one so the way you use effect actually is use effect accordingly according to the problem you have the effect tools that we have in recording or music production music production software is according to the problems you have for example we talked about in our uh, first music production tip on how to make your beat sound better we talked about the right tool of each use so briefly let me explain the right use of hmm, different tools equalize eq eq effect is used for rain and let me bring that an eq effect if i go to my dynamic here just bring a for example just bring an EQ effect as you can see so here i can just adjust sorry so my EQ effect right so this is the same effect with every other instrument hello hello hi hello hello hi so this is eq effect what does eq effect do eq effect hmm? generally all eq effect they are all the same they could have different looks but they all do the same thing okay so i'm just pulling this one out for this particular uh, uh project or i could just uh Okay, let me just use this one. Okay. Hello. Hello. So EQ tool is specifically to add frequency and to remove frequency. For example, I feel that this vocal Hello. is not bright enough hi. and I want to make it brighter. Hmm? Like this. So Hello. all I simply do is to come to the high Hello. end. Hello. Hi. Hello. So you can see it begins to sound better and sound brighter. Then if I feel that could there's too much bass frequency, all I simply do is to come here and remove some bass frequency. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Beautiful. So this particular EQ tool instrument is to remove and to add frequency. Then if I feel that maybe the base of the voice is not enough, what do I do? I just add. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Beautiful, right? Hello. I can also remove. Hello. So this is what this particular tool does. So EQ tool is to add and to remove frequency when necessary so if you have a particular sound and you feel that the frequency is not enough or you wanted the certain frequencies to be accompanied or maybe you want to boost some frequency or you simply do grab an eq tool and go to the right point and remove that frequency and if you also feel that there's a certain frequency that is too much in your mix for example maybe this Hi. voice is bright and Hello. i don't want it to be too bright i want it to be warm all i simply do is to come Hello. here go to the high hello drag down Hi. 
hello you can see it is warm so eq tool is for adding and for removing i'm just for subtracting wanted and unwanted frequency for added wanted frequencies to remove unwanted frequencies okay good so such as an example of this eq instrument those that is how all that music tools are created so all music tools are created for each purposes so all you simply do is to recognize the purposes hmm, and use them not just putting them randomly without you don't know what they are being used for for example I just demonstrated an um, a compressor for you what is a compressor does a compressor is also a tool to manage your dynamic for example if you record natural voice let me show you what is a dynamic is okay so i'm going to record um a fresh voice to show you what dynamic is like i'll be singing da 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 okay okay as you can see So guys, if you see this signal here right now, you're going to notice that this particular sound eh, is higher than these ones, higher than these ones, higher than these ones. These ones are higher, these ones are lower, these ones are higher, these ones are lower. So this is articular dynamic. The difference between the highest and the lowest sound then is called dynamic. So and we want this particular sound to be consistent, maybe in the plane. It will not be nice when you are listening to a song and you not discover that some pa certain particular voice goes up very high and some, some other certain voice comes down very low. It will not, you will not enjoy that particular music. So what we do is we use compressor to, to equalize. Compressor simply means to contain those loudest peak, those loudest frequencies, like this loudest frequency now, to try to equalize and to put them at the same level of this low frequency. So what we do is to use compressor too. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to add uh, a compressor too here. I'm going to use uh, a old, an old compressor. Da, 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 to the da, 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 I'm going to use gain. Da 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 explosive points and the lowest point. I'm going to play it again. Da 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 So you can see it sounds consistent. Even the lower part and the highest part is as if they are now on the same level. So compressor tool is actually a tool to manage your dynamic, to be able to hmm, manage your dynamic, to make your signal consistent. Okay. So when you have a consistent signal such as this, what do you do? You grab a compressor to help you uniformly organize the words the dynamics so the tools that you find in music production are actually created according to the problems that you have so you may do well to want to study the tools and also know the kind of pro, pro and know their functions so that you can use them at when you need them according to the problem you have in your what in your music so adding too many effects to your mix why you don't know their uses is very very awful it could make your mix because every effect you add to your mix have a certain sound they are introducing a certain noise so if you don't use them appropriately your sound or your music is going to be sounding awful with so many noise and it's not going to be sounding better so use every effect or every sound to at when appropriate and according to the problems you have in your mix okay so few is better so few instruments so few tools for your mix are according to their problems for your signals are what better it helps your mix to be organized to sound clean and sound appropriate so the other one is using your faders so whenever you have a sound like this it is common for most upcoming producers when they to use this particular hmm, fader they just come here and drag it like this no so um when you know much about gate staging is when you have a very good input da, signal, da, 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 it da, is da, not da, good to bother da. them by dragging them down here it is better that you use your fader this is your fader your fader here right here this is your fader so if you want to control the output volume hmm, you use your what da, your da, 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 da
So if I want this particular sound to sound in a certain range, all I simply is to use my faders, okay? Da 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 So make sure you use your faders. So using your faders help your sound to be balanced in your mix to help your fit for your sound to be balanced in your mix. Guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are new here, subscribe and make sure you put on the bell notification so that whenever we upload great videos like this, you don't miss out guys okay so using your faders the another thing when you finish your project the last and not the least is checking the checking the beat depth checking the beat depth of your frequency for example i'm going to show you for example here if I go to devices, I'm going to project, and when I go to project, so you see my sample rate. My sample rate is 48 and 32 bit float, 38 and 32 bit. So I'm recording my signal under 32 kilohertz, 48,000 kilohertz, and 32 bit hmm, float. So which this signal is recorded so when you want to export your signal what do you do you ensure that you export your signal according to the bit depth that you recorded it with so that is the bit depth of my project and for me to be able to retain this particular signal not changing it and also in using other noise for example i want to export i'll come here maybe i want to export this signal i'll just come here i'll go to export and say miss down audio so i'll come to this section so if yours is under 44 hertz make sure you put this under 44 hertz and i'll show you that it rhymes according to the input so this is your output settings so ensure that according to your input settings of the kilohertz hmm, the quality that you recorded in is going to be the same quality you're going to bring out your project that will not help to sustain the quality very well so if your project is created at 41,000 kilohertz so make sure your 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 output uh, setting is going to be 41 if it is at 16 make sure it's at 16 hmm? so make sure you check your input settings if it's at 24 put it at what 24 but in this my particular uh, project i recorded it at 32 bit float 32 bit float so i'm going to come to my settings here my output export settings to 32 bit and 48 so let's go back there and check it again so don't forget make sure you check it i go to project if you're using cubase 5 project i go to project setup so the shortcut is shift plus s so you see my input uh settings is 48,000 and also 32 bit float i click ok so uh, i want to export this project right now I'll go to export settings i'll come here i'm going to say export audio so in my export audio here, so I'll title the project. Let's say this is the the project, just for example. Then I will go to where I want to save the project. Let's say the, I'm going to save it in new project folder or I'm going to be creating new folder. Then I'm going to come to the settings here. Hmm? To the settings here. So I'm going to make sure the sample rate is the same and the bit depth is what is the same then i'm going to make sure the the audio type is wave hmm? although if you want, you can also choose mp3 there are other options you have flak we have a mp3 we have other window we'll have wave and all that so i'm going to use wave versions wave model so you go to your destination and you're going to export so this particular project i'm going to export it on desktop so that you see we're going to preview the those bit depth to see if they are going to show okay so i'm just going to leave it at this start let me use the word emergency emergency so i save i'm going to export it to desktop i'm going to click export so that particular project has exported i'm going to come down emergency look at emergency here so I'm going to go to properties, details, all 
Okay, I think it's supposed to be here. Okay, but this particular project is already like that. So let's check the quality. Da 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 da. So if I go back to the project, da 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 da. So you can see it's only the same quality, right? Da 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 da. I'm going to pause. I'm going to play it from the software. Da 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 da. So you can see that the quality is what pretty the same. Why? Because the same project quality input hmm, for recording is the same that I what I exported the file. The file with. Okay. So if you want to have a consistent quality of your mix, all you need to do is to ensure that your project settings for your inputs is the same for your what for your exporting output. So guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is pretty much tips to help your vocal sit and sound better in your music so if you are new to music production subscribe to this channel so that you continue to receive tips and tricks videos so we also have in our description below eh, our telegram group where we post regular video of tips and tricks on how to be better in music production so if you are new to cubase if you want me to do a video in any question that you have put the questions in the comment section and don't and don't um um so make sure you subscribe to this channel okay guys so see you guys in the next video if you are new to cubis want to you are looking for cubis tutorial there are other videos about cubis in this channel and also how to make beat and all that so check the description and you're going to find all that link see you guys in the next video